Welcome to Schooly X tutorial number 4, Conditional Looping. In this video, we'll be looking at how to repeat tasks and automate indefinitely. Extremely useful for making bots for games or repeating mundane tasks. Every video will have all slideshows and code available in the description. Let's start with a couple of nice features that Schooly X has to offer. First, we have global hotkeys. We can listen for a certain hotkey press to change what our script is doing, or if our automation is running indefinitely and we want it to stop. Schooly X also provides us with a large number of settings to modify the behavior of Schooly X. The main settings you may want to use is Move Mouse Delay, which is the time taken to move from the current mouse position to the next mouse position. By default, this is half a second, or 0.5. Observe Scan Rate, which is the amount of time between each screen scan for functions like Wait. By default, it checks about 3 times a second. And Delay Before Mouse Down which is the time before a mouse is clicked after moving to a click location. By default, it's half a second. However, you set this value to zero, it will only be instant on the next click. It will then reset back to half a second. If you want to continue having a fast click, you must repeatedly set this to zero. All right, the for loop. The for loop is used to repeat code a specific number of times. This could be a set number like five or all the items in a list. In these two examples, we first repeat some task five times, and in the second example, we click each pattern in the list. Let's continue with our calculator automation environment and create a script that adds one five times with a for loop. We will then modify this further in our next example. All right, so let's come over to Sukuli. All right, so let's come over to Sukuli, and we'll copy our original calculator code. Uh, we really only need to copy these first, uh, these first three, or uh, four, sorry, copy, paste. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is try setting our mouse delay to something different. So we go settings, and I'll turn red with a capital S, dot move mouse delay, with each word starting with a capital. We want to make that equal to something different. So what we could do is we could set that to uh, zero, and this means that it'll it'll move instantly across the screen. You won't even see it move. Or we could make it much slower. So we could set it to say one, and that'll take one second to move between each place on the screen. Let's try one uh, for our first shot. All right, let's create our for loop this time. So we're going to do for step in range, open parentheses, uh, five, close parentheses, colon. So our colon, once again, indicates that we're going to go an indent one. So everything that's indented is going to get repeated. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to click uh, plus and one. So actually what we want to do before this is we want to click one uh, before we do anything too. So let's uh, copy this out paste it down and change that to click click and we want to set its target offset to one apply okay and we can copy this whole line here because we're going to be using it a couple of times and paste it inside of our for loop and we want to change the target offset in this one to the plus symbol Apply, okay, and then on our next line inside of our for loop, we're going to click the one button again. So we're going to click one, then inside our for loop, we're going to go plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, etc. As many times in our range. All right, so once we're done with uh, hitting all of those pluses, we're going to come outside of our for loop and we're going to click the equals sign get our final answer. So we'll go back to our target offset and it's going to be the equal sign, apply, okay. All right, so now we've got our new program. So we set our mount, move mouse delay uh, after we're about to start our for loop. So everything will move in normal pace uh, like before until we get to our for loop and everything will slow down so we can see it repeating over and over again. And actually what we can do is we could we can move this and we'll put it at the start of our document. 
actually we'll leave one there and we'll put another one at the top of our document and we'll make it instant uh, actually no we'll leave it one there and we'll make it instant once we're doing our calculations so we'll be able to see the mouse moving really slowly as it clicks start uh, searches and then moves onto the calculator to press one and then it'll move really fast going zero plus zero uh, well sorry one plus one plus one and then equals okay cool so let's save this uh, this time we'll call this one calc 3 and save I think I just no, oh, it's about that right it's all right cool so let's give it a run so we hit run it'll move really slowly click start calc then it'll move really slowly back over to the one click that and then it'll move really quickly and you can see it's just jumping straight between the two and it repeated five times to get six so we pressed one the first time then added one five times and hit equals and we got six cool so our for loops working correctly it repeated five times cool now let's look at while loops the while loop is used for repeating a block of code until a boolean expression is false so while the expression is true keep repeating the code it's pretty simple commonly we use this with the exists function as it returns true or false if an image exists all right, let's modify our script to repeatedly add one forever and stop running the script when we press a global hotkey. All right, so we'll come back over and we'll edit our code that we've been writing. And we will remove our mouse, uh, our move mouse delay. We'll just leave it as the default of 0 0.5. And we need to set up our global hotkey. So to do this, we're going to keep everything we got here, but we're going to nudge it down a bit. And at the top of our file, we're going to create a Boolean variable called running. So it's called running, and it's going to equal true with a capital T. So yes, our program is running. All right. Now we're going to define a function. So we're starting to get a little bit more into the advanced programming here. But essentially, it's we use the def keyword to define a function which is a block of code that we want to run and we'll call it run hotkey and inside there we're going to pass in the event and this is what is passed in by our our hotkey binding so you can use it if you wish but we're not going to be using the event variable okay so inside of our function we're going to uh, grab our global global variable running and we're going to set running to equal false with a capital F so this is when this code runs we're going to stop the program and the reason we need this is for our next line so outside of our function we're going to use env for environment which will turn red dot add in lowercase capital H for hotkey open parentheses and the key we're going to listen for which can be anything you like but I'm going to use key dot f1 so the f1 key comma and our key modifier is going to be the control key so we're going to have to hold control and then press f1 so key modifier modifier which will turn red as well dot control c t r l in capitals comma and then we're going to run the function run hotkey and then we can close off our parentheses all right so whenever we press that uh, that hotkey f1 control f1 it will do our run hotkey function which will tell running to be false all right now that we've set up our hotkey, we can come down to our loop. So we're going to leave everything else as it is. We're going to click start, we're going to open up the calculator. And what we'll do is let's remove this one originally so it doesn't actually click one to start with. And instead of four, what we're going to do is we're going to have our while. So we can remove uh, this four here. And instead, we're going to have while in lowercase exists so we're going to use the exists uh, function 
and while exists and our calculator so we'll put, um, copy our calculator from up here copy oops I think I undid that while exists our calculator and running so while our calculator is on screen so while our calculator is on screen and we're currently running so our running is still true we're going to keep adding all right so that's really all we need to change because our while loop is repeating just like our for loop is by adding one and we've got our hotkey set up to tell running to stop being true which using the and uh, keyword uh, it will cancel out because this still exists but our running doesn't so they're both not true and it will exit out of our program and add it all up for us okay so let's save and give it a shot so we can hit we'll close our calculator because that might cause some issues hit run start calc is it up one plus one plus one and it will keep going indefinitely we can sit here and watch it as long as we like and we'll keep adding it's gone past five and it keeps going on forever and then we can hold our control key press f1 and it, e it cancels our loop and it hits the equal button and we get 10 cool so that all works successfully okay just some final notes to keep in mind and watch out for make sure your loop has a way to stop Getting stuck in an infinite loop with Sakuli can be painful, as it has control over your mouse and sometimes your keyboard. Try to avoid it with things like a hotkey, like in our example, or using the exists function on a window that can be Alt F4 to be closed. Also, if there's lots of visuals changing, remember to use the wait or exists to be certain that the thing you want to click is actually visible. Okay, that's it for this video. We can now repeat tasks and use global hotkeys. In the next video, we'll be putting everything we've learnt together to create a simple automation script that will play the free clicker game Clicker Heroes. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments and I'll try to answer it as best as possible. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.